All right, what's good? Leak auto repair. So this is pretty much gonna be like a, a voiceover, and I'm just gonna go with the next ten minutes. Gone. Show you guys how to fabricate the uh, bracket for uh, this application I'm working on is uh, El Camino. Um, I'll leave like a maybe a picture. Uh, well, too late. Video already done, but it's a 69 El Camino. Um, but like a whole front, uh, the front face is definitely changed for like the later model El Caminos. But at the end of the day, is an El Camino. So this is a Woolwood brake conversion kit. Um, convert your single piston into like uh, four piston, whatever piston uh, they offer. Um, Willwood is pretty much new to me, but when it comes to job like this, like hands on, this is all me. Once directions are followed, jobs like this is just a walk in the park for me. So it is what it is. So we're just going to start the video. So this is pretty much helping you guys fabricate your, your, your uh, caliber bracket so that way you can probably fit the uh, new rotor and hub onto the uh, spindle and stuff and you can install the new the uh, bracket that goes with the uh the the uh, brake kit so let's start the uh video all right so i got leak in the background he's over there playing with uh his toy by a roll over in a second he's up there trying to crawl all right so pretty much i'm laying out instructions uh if you want to pause the video for a second so that way you can kind of can read what's going on but I uh, pretty much want you to cut diagonally um, across the bracket um, like before the actual uh, dustpan holes we're going to use the dust pans three dustpan holes we're only going to use two of them to place the put the new bracket um, in place so I took a, a cutter I got a four inch cutter got it to Chicago electric from um, Harper Freight so it is powered electric plug in the wall so I like that option better rather than air because with air like the whole um, handle part gets cold from like the air versus like the electric ratchet I mean the electric uh, cutter it don't get you know cold or nothing so I'm measuring with something straight like a pry bar and I highlighted the areas where you want to um, begin your cut now your cut is not going to be like perfect it's not going to be like you know flawless it's, it is going to be um, you know look kind of weird but long as you cut in that angle however you want to cut it is all good so i sped up the video some so we can proceed faster and get it to refocus but we good though yeah so like i said i sped the video up so that way um i mean youtube has a feature uh where you can play the video faster or slower so if i'm playing it too fast all you got to do is slow down your player side and you should be cool just that the words might be sounding a little different far as narrative yeah, check on leak real quick. All right, so I'm cutting the uh, I got the bottom half cut. I'm cutting the uh, top uh, half. Um, be careful cutting. You notice my cutter don't have a guard on it. I took the guard off because like that guard don't give you that angle that you really you really want when you cut and stuff, and it limits uh your, your 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 cutting skills and stuff. So if you ain't scared, remove it. I remove it. Make sure you wear safety glasses or something like a thick layer of coat or something like that in case that blade try to come through. I'm just saying. Um, so I think I'm still cutting off the top part. And like I said, that's why I took the guard off because I wouldn't be able to cut that properly. I mean, maybe I have to take the whole spindle out the car and just be smarter to cut it. But I figured, you know, it's not as bad cutting, you know, from this angle. Be careful not to cut your upper control arm too. Um, and I grind down um, the rough surfaces, sharp surfaces, grind them down. Then use the grinder to flatten them back down and you should be cool. So take the bracket and, you know, make sure you got your clearance that you need. Looks like I got plenty of uh, clearance and I'm just trying it out and I'm going to drill use. I use the 21 over 64 uh, infraction terms, 21 over 64 uh, uh, drill bit and I used a tat. Um, I think it was uh, three eighths and three eighths dash twenty four. That's not the one to be reading numbers off. I just know just whatever they put. That's what I'm reading it back to y'all. And I converted over everything. So if you follow the instructions in the beginning of the video, and I'll tell you which drill size to use, and I'll tell you which tap size to use. It should be cool. So uh, the tap size I use has a conversion chart. I use the conversion chart, and then for the drill bit. 
Um, it was 0. 0.332 diameter. Uh, I went on like Google and found a converter and converted the number and it gave me the best drill bit like size to use that falls not exactly in a diameter but like close so uh 21 over 64 would be the, the, the best one i think you can get away with 11 over 64 i'm not sure but 21 over 64 is still you want to use so getting it started in a hole um you have to be you might have to take the drill bit and make it a little bit bigger like work it around in a circle but once you do that and then um take your drill bit you want to make sure i mean your the tap make sure the tap goes in straight if it goes in crooked then your threads will be like the whole channel tunnel of it will be like crooked it's the way your bolt gonna you know rest in there you want it to be straight so eye it up a couple times it's going to take you a, definitely definitely a couple times to to get it started um it looks like I might be a little bit crooked, but I'm going like extra slow and I'm going back and forth because I'm trying to make sure I make my first my first few turns, official turns are like straight. So that way I can get like a good drive. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Luke rolled over a couple times already. He's straight though. We good. Um, still twisting. And just pretty much like this read through. If you never use the tap and die set before. Um, you, when you're dealing with, uh, older cars, definitely, or like rust and stuff, or when both snap, you'll get your experience up, but, um, it, not everything can be retap, some things can, but if you can save a whole, cool, um, maybe one bit, I can, hopefully, I can show you how to, how to insert a, like a time cert and a hilly coil type stuff, but that's a whole different you know, topic or whatever. So if you never had experience on this, I would just Google it or find a video where someone can show you how to tap something. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out of there, uh, plenty of videos out there, but unfortunately I don't have one. So you're just gonna have to just follow this video and just give it a try. Worst thing that can happen is you messed up the hole and you'll have to step it up bigger and use a, a bigger bolt. And, and, you can only go so big before the hole gets like super big. So be careful. So you want to, once you drive in a few turns, you want to drive backwards a few turns. Just so that way everything, you want it to move freely, not like too stiff or whatever. If it's too stiff, back off, move forward, back off, move forward. So that until you get like a full rotation, just keep doing that. You don't want to force the uh, tap in there because you want like perfect uh clean like cut threads and stuff and um if you want to you could spray like some um some type of like brake cleaner or something in there to just to clean up the threads as you chasing it but it's going to be kind of hard to clean it up because you got like all of the debris on the back side of the hole so you're going to have to try to like you could take out the tap you can just wait till you're done. Me, I like to wait till I'm done and just put some compressed air in it or like some brake cleaner, make sure it's dry and then call it a day. So still doing that. And you want to, uh, I think I want you to drive in like an inch deep. Um, you had to use your eye measurement or this one has a hole in the back side of it. So I'll just make sure the tap, a few threads of the tap comes out of the hole. And then I'll just, uh, you know, drive it back out, driving it back out uh does you know it chases taps and chases the uh threads a lot better so you get look a leak he just rolling away over there my boy gonna be crawling soon i gotta get him in the video definitely gonna get him in the video uh, so i'm gonna be working backwards and i think the video just almost done pretty much so um trying to figure out why the hell he in there screaming it's like 632. Whatever. So um still working the uh tap out of the uh uh out of the hole. Looks like I can twist it by hand. And the more you can twist it by hand and the more it moves freely, uh you know that you made a, a perfect tap. Like you know that your threads is cool pretty much. Uh, yeah, y'all probably hear her yelling. It's cool. I'm gonna cuss her out in a second because she know I was in here um doing this dang video. Always yelling. Leek, what are you doing? Why are you all the way over there? 
Huh? You supposed to be right there, boy. Mm-hmm. It's about to get on punishment. So, uh, it looks like this is it. Um, I think in this next part, I took a bolt. Um, it does this one, I know it's not the correct caliber, uh, the bracket bolt, but uh, this is one for the actual caliber itself, not the bracket. But the pitch is still the same, the thread pitch. So, I just, and I had an extra one, too. So, I used this bolt just to chase the thread, just to see if it goes in there. I'm like, I know the video is sped up, but I, actually, the video slowed down. So, I'm like, I'm driving it in with ease, and on top of that, I'm using a quarter-inch ratchet. Quarter-inch ratchets don't have a lot of torque to begin with, so that means I don't have... Uh, like resistance at all. I mean, I slightly, but I'm chasing it. And when I come, when I back it off backwards, um, it should you be able to uh, screw, you know, with no resistance, no problem. Because I chased it with a new, with another bolt, pretty much. But that assures me that the threads are were tapped correctly. So I'm gonna go to repair. That's it. Any questions you got, uh, leave it in the comment section. Uh, more questions, email me. Um, you got a similar car, you need help or whatever. Follow your directions. Everything's in the directions. But once again, if you have any additional questions, then you can be sure to uh, contact me.